Hey guys, this is uh, Morph's Props here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick review on how to build your very own portal gun. Pretty much how I started this build is I went to my local hardware store and I picked up some PVC pipe. The inner PVC pipe here is a 3 inch diameter pipe. Uh, the out one is a 4 inch diameter pipe. And you're also going to need a 5 inch diameter pipe along with a 5 inch uh, cap. And pretty much what you want to start with is take your 3 inch PVC pipe, uh, pencil out this nice little curved uh, opening here, cut that out, put that, and then, well, do the same thing on your 4 inch diameter pipe. Uh, kind of pencil it out the way you want and uh, cut that out. Then on your 4 inch diameter pipe, take some scrap plastic, some scrap wood, something, and glue on uh, two spacers on the inside of this pipe. So yeah, I have one here and then there's one uh, on the other side. So basically when you take your 3 inch PVC pipe and you set it in the 4 inch pipe, those spacers will obviously give you a nice uh, even balance between both sides and uh, help hold it in there. Um, from there, what I did is I took some Bondo and I filled in that gap in between both the pipes. And then I took some uh, Bondo spot putty and I hit the little tiny nicks and stuff like that and sanded that out really smooth uh, to get you this nice uh, this look here that curves up. Um, the inner pieces here, the little fins I guess you, uh, you would call them, um, what I did there is I took a real thin piece of plastic and I made little squares and I glued the squares in there so they were sticking up kinda like that and then again I took Bondo and Spot Putty and I filled those in um, and then I cut the squares down to this nice uh, angle here and then again just sanded them out, smoothed them out and then that's how I got those, uh, those fins uh, moving forward from there the front ring is just a PVC that I cut down and I took and rounded it on the uh, router I put that on there the middle ring is obviously just a, a basic uh, PVC ring that's stuck on there and then the front ring is a real thin piece of styrene plastic that I had that I cut put that on there glued that down and then to create this this angle all I did is again I filled that with Bondo and spot putty and sanded that roll down real smooth. That's how you create the uh, basis of the body. Well, you take the four inch and glue it onto the five inch, and that's how you create the basic body of your portal gun. Um, moving to the inside of the gun, all this is is again it's another PVC ring. Uh, glued onto a, a again a real thin styrene piece of plastic that's that backer and then the fins again are the real thin styrene plastic that I cut and glued all that on there and the back white piece that you see is clear acrylic uh, plastic that I sanded with 220 grit sandpaper and then I buffed that out with I believe like a 400 or a 600 grit sandpaper and it gives it more of like a frosted look so when you turn on your lights, this white piece will have a really nice bright glow to it. And I stuck all that in there. Um, real quick, before you glue everything in there, take your wires that will run your lights uh, from the back and you run them in between the 3 inch and the 4 inch piece of uh, PVC so they actually run through the inside and then up so you can turn on the lights with having all your wires hidden just a real quick note run your wires before you glue everything down otherwise you're gonna have a, a hard time trying to get your wires uh, through everything um, there uh, the arms again are the real thin plastic that I just cut to shape. The the center arm again is a real heavy piece of plastic that I just uh, kind of eyeballed and cut that to shape. 
Same way with the little front claws here. It's a real thick plastic that I, I drew out the basic shape and uh, sanded that out on the belt sander. The little J hooks here, a uh, little side note, these are actually made of metal. Uh, I These were made of the, the same thin plastic as the front arm here, but these take a lot of wear and stress and they kept breaking on me. So I just remade them out of a real thin sheet metal. And now it's obviously like a lot sturdier, especially with the potato Gladys on there. She adds quite a bit of weight. And now that the little J hooks are there, it's super sturdy. Um, going from there, the shells are actually just a wire frame. Take some sculpting wire and kind of bend it into the shape that you need it to be. Run some uh, cross support wires and maybe some side cross uh, support wires. Then I fiberglassed it and then again I just layered Bondo and more Bondo and then I sanded it out to the, uh, the shape that I needed. Same way for the uh, front. Now how I made it look real thick like that is I took again real thin pieces of plastic and I glued it to the outside fiberglass shell and that's how I got it the real wide look like that without building it with up with Bondo and then sanding it and all that good fun stuff. Uh, moving to the inside of the portal gun, the center rod is just a clear uh, acrylic rod again that I sanded and I buffed out. Um, so when you put the turn the lights on, it like I said, see how it it's got a really nice uh, glow to it. Same way with the with the front it has that real nice super bright glow. Um, there, the outside piece is just a clear piece of PVC. Unfortunately, the only place I've been able to find the clear acrylic rod and the clear PVC is at a local uh, plastics dealer. That's the only place I've been able to find it, um, just so you guys know. I uh, can kind of see it. The inner puck there that holds the clear acrylic rod, that again is basically just a a heavier piece of plastic that I had that I drew the little uh, notched I guess the little curve looks like little tiny pieces of pizza uh, drew those out cut a bunch of those out and glued those onto the thicker piece which holds the clear piece of uh, acrylic rod uh, from that your hoses I just went to a local automotive shop and asked to see their hoses and I looked them over and I thought that this one was the right proportion to the portal gun and it is and I just had him cut me a length uh, the inside of the the hose does have sculpting wire in it so you, obviously you can bend it to the shape that you need um, from there the lights that power this portal gun are piranha style LEDs obviously your blue and then like the yellow um, the whole wiring system the lights, everything is hooked up in a series parallel configuration. Um, I'm not going to go over that. If you don't know what series parallel is, uh, just go ahead and look it up. Um, I can't. It's pretty easy to do. I just don't want to really go that into depth about the lighting. It's just series parallel. That's all the the, the wiring is. Um, the potato Gladys I will not be reviewing in this video. Please look at the other video on how to make your own. Uh, GLaDOS. Now don't laugh, but the inner of the shell is really, really basic. Um, All it is is just a little wooden post with some uh, Velcro that holds the shell down to the outer body. Now this is, like I said, this is your 5 inch piece of PVC with your 5 inch cap. This is what houses all of your battery packs, your lights, everything else that I've got jammed into this gun. Now, unfortunately for me, the speaker and the potato Gladys were an add-on as an afterthought while I already had the portal gun built. Um, now, if I would have planned this out better, I would have taken the speaker and moved it inside the system. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have the room in here because, like I said, I've got like two battery packs and lights and wires and everything jammed in there. So, plan this out a little according if you're going to make your own potato Gladys. Um, move your speaker inside and then just drill audio ports 
into the back of this so obviously you can hear it um this is basically just a regular drawer pull that you find on your cabinets that I just attached onto the back of the cap and then your, all your lights and controls and everything this particular one controls your potato gladys on and off obviously and then your other one controls your lights this one is actually a three-way switch obviously down for blue middle is off and then up is your yellow so middle off down blue and then, like I said, if you happen to have the Potato Gladys, you, what I did is I actually went out to a company and I added audio. They make custom sound chips. Uh, just a thought, it's really neat when you're running around a convention and you hit a button and you have, obviously, your portal sounds. Now, the last button down here controls the Gladys' uh, talking. Um, the way it's wired up... And if you hit it again, it goes to the next audio. And you are a potato. And the more I've got more audio on there, you just keep hitting the button and it just keeps cycling through all the audio, which is kind of neat. Um, and then obviously your shell covers all that mess there up. Um, the Oh, the decals. This is a kind of neat trick that I picked up. Um, if you've ever played with the temporary tattoos as a kid, this is the same basic concept as you can get your own, basically it's decal paper that you can put into your uh, home printer and you can print off whatever decal that you need. So obviously I printed off the Aperture logo and then on the other side here is the Aperture barcode and whatever number you decide to put it. I put it as O2 since this is my second portal gun build and then, you know, whatever else you want on there. Um, that is your basic portagon review on how I built it. It's actually pretty easy to make. I mean, it's pretty simple, just a couple of basic tools. You don't need anything super fancy, and like I said, it's basically just a PVC pipe with a fiberglass bondoed shell on it. The end. The hardest thing that you might have to deal with is finding the clear PVC uh, outer and the acrylic rod but other than that everything else is pretty localized um again it real quick I'm just gonna tell you if you do build your own potato Gladys this is actually hardwired into it the wire runs down this arm here I drilled a hole all the way through it to run the wiring um, and then the wire runs through this pipe here or this hose and then you've seen how the wires go down and then into the shell here um, oh, these little bumps, again, is a real heavy plastic that I cut the basic shape out and then sanded on my belt sander to, uh, get that look. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If I miss something on this build, I apologize. Go ahead and leave me a comment below if you got any questions on it. Or, uh, better yet, go to my Facebook page, uh, Morphs Props. Uh, shoot me a comment there and I will help you out as the best that I can. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks for reviewing this video, and I'll see you on the next build.